to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the game changer, Wes Truth. And today I'm here with a review of a movie that came out in theaters, oh, back about a week ago. Uh, just finally getting the chance to check this one out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Denzel Washington's first sequel. That might be hard to believe. Some believe he was president, but whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, my review of the 2018 action drama, The Equalizer 2, coming up now. While making a living as a Lyft driver, Army Special Forces veteran and DIA operative Robert McCall also moonlights fighting back for those who can't and teaches people some serious lessons. When a close friend is murdered, Robert is ready to kill the men responsible, which turns out to be his old crew. So what did I think of The Equalizer 2? I thought it was a tremendously generic action sequel. I haven't seen the first film since it's released, but remembered really enjoying it. This time around, there's really nothing that makes it stand out from any other movie in the genre, as it's just really average. It actually feels more like a TV pilot than it does a theatrical release. The action sequences themselves can be pretty cool, and seeing McCall delivering payback in some very violent ways can be fun. There's an opening scene where the character's in disguise on a train, a fight in his lift car, and of course the big showdown finale which takes place in McCall's old hometown during a hurricane. Surprisingly, the film takes a while to get there with an extremely long setup. It also felt like there were a lot of ideas for the movie that were just thrown into a blender that don't all come together by the end. There's too many unneeded subplots and stuff going on like taking a young man under his wing and trying to keep him from getting in trouble on the streets. It doesn't really add up to much other than the character getting put into danger. There's also quite a bit of side quests that are happening, seeing Robert beat up some random thugs or people. It can be entertaining, but it doesn't really affect the main story at all. Everything is also rather predictable. We know where the story's going, what will happen, and we're given some very obvious heel turns as well. I also never felt that the character was in any type of danger and knew he'd come out of every confrontation just fine. Unfortunately, between the action, the story could be rather boring, causing the pace to drag, and I found myself checking the clock a number of times. The performances are obviously all fine, starring Denzel Washington reprising his role as Robert McCall, the driver who's out to avenge the death of an old friend, Pedro Pascal as Dave York, fellow DIA operative and McCall's former partner, Ashton Sanders as Miles Whitaker, the young resident Robert befriends and tries to keep out of trouble. Melissa Leo as Susan Plummer, McCall's former boss and friend. And Bill Call Pullman as Brian Plummer, Susan's husband who's an author and historian. The Equalizer 2 has its moments here and there, but it's ultimately forgettable and has a huge been there, done that feel. I'm going to give it the rating of meh. You know, it's okay. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West A List. Until next time, truth out.